far, very far away from our Earth in the vast and mysterious expanse of the universe, something truly terrifying unfolds. A cosmic event so powerful, it defies our wildest imaginations. Today, we're embarking on an extraordinary journey to witness this phenomenon firsthand. Brace yourselves as we engage our warp drive. And here we are, approaching a star at the end of its life, a ticking time bomb in the cosmic clock. This is not just any star, but a massive one, dozens of times larger than our sun, now in its final tumultuous moments. This gargantuan star is about to undergo a catastrophic collapse. The intense gravitational pull at its core has finally overwhelmed the nuclear forces holding it together. This collapse triggers a supernova, an explosion so powerful it can briefly outshine an entire galaxy. But hidden within this brilliant outburst is an even more extraordinary event. The core of the star collapses into a black hole, a point in space where gravity is so intense that it ensnares all that approaches, even light, preventing its escape. As the black hole forms, it releases jets of gamma rays, shooting out into space at nearly the speed of light. These gamma ray bursts are the brightest electromagnetic events known to occur in the universe. They release more energy in a few seconds than our sun will produce over its entire 10 billion year lifespan. But what exactly are gamma rays? They are a form of electromagnetic radiation, like the light we see and the radio waves we use for communication, but far more energetic. These rays have the smallest wavelengths and the most energy of any other wave in the electromagnetic spectrum. Gamma ray bursts, though exceptionally rare, are predominantly observed in galaxies billions of light years distant. These intense cosmic energy emissions pose significant risks if they occur near a hypothetical planet, especially within the same galaxy. A direct hit could strip protective atmospheric layers, leading to ecological catastrophes and potential mass extinctions. Gamma ray bursts are primarily classified into two types, long duration bursts and short duration bursts. Long duration bursts, lasting more than two seconds, are believed to be caused by the collapse of massive stars. On the other hand, short duration bursts, which last less than two seconds, are thought to result from the merger of neutron stars, or black holes in binary systems. These cosmic phenomena are not just harbingers of destruction, they also offer us invaluable insights into the workings of the universe. These high-intensity cosmic flashes help astronomers study the early universe as they are bright enough to be seen from vast distances, acting as beacons that illuminate the distant and ancient cosmos. As we journey back to the safety of our own solar system, we carry with us a deeper understanding of gamma-ray bursts, reminders of the immense power and unending mysteries of the cosmos. It's a humbling reminder that we are but a small part of a vast and dynamic universe, continually shaped by forces beyond our imagination. Now, let's briefly halt our voyage through the stars and shift our attention towards the blue and verdant sphere of Earth. Imagine for a moment a gamma ray burst occurring closer to our home, our planet, a vibrant oasis in the vastness of space, teeming with life. But what would happen if these intense cosmic energy emissions were to strike our world? If they occurred within our own galaxy and was aimed directly at Earth, the results could be devastating. These bursts emit intense high-energy radiation that can travel vast interstellar distances. Upon striking our planet, the gamma rays would first interact with the upper atmosphere, generating bright auroras far more intense than any northern lights we've ever seen. But this beauty would be a harbinger of destruction. The intense radiation could penetrate our atmosphere, potentially stripping away the ozone layer that protects us from the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. Without this protective shield, life on Earth would be exposed to deadly levels of UV radiation, 
This could lead to widespread ecological disasters, including mass extinctions of species sensitive to these changes. The gamma rays and subsequent cosmic rays could also create chemical reactions in the atmosphere, leading to a decrease in global temperatures, a phenomenon known as a nuclear winter. Electrical grids and satellites could be severely affected, disrupting global communication and navigation systems, plunging our technologically dependent world into chaos. But let's remember, such an event happening close enough to affect Earth is extremely unlikely. The vast distances in space act as a natural shield protecting us from these distant cosmic events. Now wait a minute. We have observed something unusual, something beyond our forecasts. An entity within our own solar system is exhibiting behaviors that defy our expectations. Our sun, the radiant lifeblood of our solar system, is not merely a celestial orb that graces our skies. It's a source of awe, warmth and hope. As we cast our eyes upon its luminous glow, we can't help but feel a sense of connection to the cosmos. This fiery behemoth, a colossal celestial entity, orchestrates the cosmic dance of life and energy. It bathes our world in the glow of morning light, bringing each new day with the promise of possibilities. This is not just the familiar, life-giving star we know, but a tumultuous, fiery giant, awakening with unpredictable and powerful energy. Amidst its usual glow, we are witnessing the phenomenon of solar flares, colossal eruptions on the sun's surface, revealing its dynamic and often turbulent nature. First, we need to understand what solar flares are. A solar flare is essentially a sudden, rapid and intense variation in brightness seen on the sun's surface. This phenomenon occurs near sunspots, often accompanied by a burst of energy that includes not just light, but a broad spectrum of electromagnetic radiation. But what triggers these dramatic solar outbursts? The sun, our star, is a maelstrom of nuclear activity a massive sphere of burning gases primarily comprising hydrogen and helium. This nuclear fusion generates a powerful magnetic field intricate and ever-changing. Over time, this magnetic field becomes twisted and tangled. Solar flares happen when these twisted magnetic fields suddenly and violently rearrange themselves, releasing vast amounts of energy. The energy released in a solar flare is immense. We're talking about an output equivalent to the detonation of millions of atomic bombs simultaneously. This energy is emitted across the electromagnetic spectrum, from radio waves to X-rays. It's a cosmic spectacle of light and energy that underscores the sun's powerful influence. When solar flares occur, they don't just release energy in the form of light and heat. They also emit streams of electrons and protons hurtling into space at nearly the speed of light. These high-energy particles are a key aspect of what we call space weather, and they play a significant role in the dynamics of the solar system's heliosphere. Interestingly, solar flares vary in frequency and intensity, typically following an 11-year cycle known as the solar cycle. During the peak of this cycle, known as solar maximum, flares become more frequent and intense. This cycle of activity is a fascinating aspect of the sun's behavior, offering valuable insights into its long-term patterns and influences. These solar flares can be really dangerous to us on Earth, but did you know an event already happened in the past that demonstrated this danger in a most dramatic way? On the morning of September 1st, 1859, Richard Carrington, a young but already accomplished English astronomer, was engaged in his routine observation of the sun. Carrington had built a private observatory at Red Hill, Surrey, where he dedicated himself to solar studies, particularly sunspots, which were little understood at the time. Carrington's method involved projecting an image of the sun onto a screen using a telescope. 
This technique allowed safe observation of the solar surface without directly looking into the bright light of the sun, which could cause serious eye damage. On that fateful day, as he was sketching the sunspots, Carrington witnessed an intense bright light erupting from the sun's surface. The occurrence was sudden and startling. Two patches of intensely bright light appeared over the sunspots, growing in size over the next few minutes. Carrington described them as white light flares, a phenomenon not documented before. These flares were so bright that they were visible against the sun's glaring backdrop, a testament to their incredible intensity. Within hours of Carrington's observation, the effects of this massive solar flare started becoming apparent on Earth, though the connection wasn't immediately understood. The world was about to witness the largest geomagnetic storm in recorded history. The most vivid and immediate effect of the Carrington event was the appearance of spectacular auroras, natural light displays typically seen near the poles. During this event, auroras were reported as far south as the Caribbean, painting the night sky in breathtaking hues of red, green and purple. These weren't just beautiful celestial shows, they were visual evidence of the sun's far-reaching influence on Earth's magnetosphere. But the impact went beyond the visual spectacle. The geomagnetic storm induced by the solar flares and subsequent coronal mass ejections caused widespread disruptions in the telegraph systems across Europe and North America. Telegraph operators reported sparks leaping from their equipment, some severe enough to start fires. In some cases, telegraph systems continued to send and receive messages even after being disconnected from their power supplies, operated solely by the electric current induced by the geomagnetic storm. The Carrington event was a wake-up call to the vulnerabilities of our technology to space weather. Remember, this was 1859, a time when electrical technology was in its infancy. The telegraph was the most advanced form of communication, and even this was not immune to the sun's influence. Let's now pivot to the present day and examine the potential impact solar flares could have on our modern world. In an era where technology permeates every aspect of our lives, the repercussions of intense solar activity are more significant than ever. Today, our society is intricately wired and heavily reliant on technology. From communication networks to power grids, from satellite operations to air travel, technology is the backbone of our day-to-day -day functioning. But this dependence also makes us vulnerable to the whims of solar activity much, like the telegraph systems were back in 1859. Imagine a scenario where a solar flare of Carrington event magnitude occurs now. The first to feel the impact would be our satellites. These sophisticated pieces of technology orbiting Earth are critical for GPS, telecommunications and weather forecasting. A powerful solar flare can disrupt their operation, leading to a cascade of failures. GPS systems could go offline, affecting everything from your smartphone's mapping services to the precision timing required for financial transactions. Next in line would be the power grids. A solar storm could induce currents in the long power lines, potentially overloading transformers and causing widespread blackouts. The repercussions of a prolonged power outage are immense. From the cessation of daily activities to the crippling of emergency services and economic losses running into billions, the danger extends even into the skies. Solar flares can disrupt the Earth's ionosphere, affecting radio communications. This would have a direct impact on aviation, particularly for flights over polar regions where the impact of solar activity is the most pronounced. Pilots could find themselves without vital communication links and the safety of passengers could be at risk. But the potential destruction isn't limited to just technological systems. The increased radiation from a solar flare could pose a serious threat to astronauts in space, particularly those aboard the International Space Station. Without the protection of Earth's atmosphere, they are vulnerable to the high-energy particles released during a solar flare. This scenario isn't mere speculation. 
In recent years, there have been several near misses. In 2012, a massive solar storm similar in scale to the Carrington event missed Earth by just nine days. Had it hit, the impact on our modern, interconnected world could have been catastrophic. The possibility of a solar event disrupting our technology-dependent society isn't a question of if, but when. This underscores the need for robust and resilient systems that can withstand such celestial challenges. Investment in better forecasting, shielding technologies and contingency planning is crucial to mitigate the potential destruction posed by solar flares.